Hey guys, I just want to quickly talk about um, how to use vitamin K2. First of all, what is it? Um, it's a recently discovered vitamin. They used to talk about vitamin you know, K1 a lot, which is, um, it actually helps you clot. But K2 is a completely different part of that vitamin uh, K complex. And vitamin K2 is vital in the transportation of calcium from the wrong place to the right place. So a lot of people have soft tissue calcium buildup because naturally they're missing this vitamin. And so what happens, they get um, clogging of the arteries, where uh, they get placking. They have uh, tartar on the teeth, uh, cataracts, and arthritis, and bursitis, and tendonitis. <clears throat> and that leads to high blood pressure and stroke and all sorts of things because the calcium starts building up. And as you see, when people get older, they become really, really stiff. That's the calcium building up because they're missing this. This comes from naturally fat, like grass-fed uh, animal products. That's where you get this. But what have, we, what have they, they been telling us to avoid over the last 50 years? Fat. That's the worst thing to do. So they want to tell you to avoid cholesterol foods because they don't want you to get a heart attack, when in fact, this is in cholesterol foods to help clean out the calcium placking. So the, the, the uh, cholesterol placking is really just the long-term effects of having problems in the arteries, which you should watch other videos if you want to get the full scoop on that. But the point is this is much more important to help the cardiovascular system and bone health because it'll take the calcium and drive it right into that bone and make it nice and solid. And I always recommend taking this with vitamin D3 so they work together. And if, it's a, if you have a major problem, take four of these and four of vitamin D3 in the, um, I think the D3 would be um, roughly about uh, 10,000 IUs per pill. And this is 100 micrograms. So basically, I have these in the right combination, so they work together. So you take a one-to-one -one ratio. If it's a major problem, take four and four in the morning. If it's a minor problem, you're just maintaining it, take one of each. Okay. Now, why do you take it in the morning? Because the stomach is mostly uh, acidic in the, in the morning, and it's, it's uh, the best to digest protein and fats in the morning, not right before you go to bed, of course. So go ahead and take it, and I recommend taking this with some fat, maybe a little butter, or even just with your eggs for breakfast. So I like to take it for breakfast, and then you can basically find that it'll actually be absorbed and through the whole day. You don't need to spread it out through the day, okay? So four and four or one and one, they're in the right ratios, uh, vitamin K2 and D3 for the transportation of calcium and a lot of other benefits um, that you run into, okay? So there's no actual problem taking this um, as far as side effects, but there is a point if you have a gallbladder problem, these are fat vitamins, these are fat soluble vitamins. So if you have a gallbladder bloating, constipation, don't have a gallbladder, then you need to add gallbladder uh, formula to this because this will help you digest these two, okay? So that's the only catch-22 with taking this is because you might not be able to absorb these fat soluble vitamins because you don't have enough bile, B-I-L-E, from your gallbladder, okay? So that's the other point with this, but um, that's how you would take it, and I hope that gave you kind of a little bit of a summary of of what you're going for.